So now I want to show you just a little bit of work with chocolate and some garnishes and some runouts. Again, this is something that's going to take a wee bit of practice, but there's a couple of skills here I want to show you. You know, in, in particularly in melting the chocolate, you know, chocolate can be a quite a confusing ingredient sometimes. And, you know, there's certain things that affect it. Heat's really bad for chocolate and water, both of which we're using with the chocolate. So you have to be really careful. What you, you will always have to remember is chocolate melts very, very easily. It melts in your pocket. So it'll melt at 37 degrees, which is very, very low. So if you, you know, if you set up your, your pot of water to melt the chocolate, the water doesn't actually have to be that hot. The other thing that's the enemy is, is water. So m making sure once the chocolate has melted, that when you lift it off the bath, that any water that might have caught in the bottom is removed so that it doesn't then contaminate the chocolate and then it'll be really difficult to work with. So we've got a little bit of heat here. It's not, it's not that hot. It's never to the boil. And we're just gonna let that melt. On this side here, I've also got some white chocolate working. So we just put a little bit of heat into the water and we let that residual heat do the rest of the job. The other advantage of keeping the temperature low is that you can hopefully keep the shine on the chocolate. That'll just take a few seconds. We'll just let that do its thing. So to do chocolate runouts or chocolate garnishes, you need a, a, a piping bag. And I've found the best piping bags are just the ones you make yourself from a little bit of greaseproof paper. So we wanna cut a triangle off the paper. And again, this takes practice. It, it takes most people a few goes to get it right. So what I do, just to remind myself, I keep the right angle to, the, to my right hand and then hold it with my thumb and forefinger and just twist and bring round. And it's easier than it looks. So right angle, pan backwards, twist and bring round. And that makes a little tighten bag. And then just tuck the edges in. And you can just adjust the size of the, the hole in the pint bag to suit. Same on the other side. Right angle, press turn. Make a cone, twist it round. And tuck in. Easier said than done sometimes. Second little Titan bag. So if you can see our chocolate is just about melted. It's really, really shiny. If you overheat it, the chocolate becomes dull and then it, it melts really quick when you go to use it. So you try your best to keep the temperatures as low as possible. Lifting the bowl off of the pot, it's really important that you wipe the bottom of the bowl and then remove the water from the area because water is a real enemy of chocolate. Pipe bag, don't overfill it, just a little bit. And then fold the edges in. 
and a little will go a long way when it comes to garnishing. And it might take a couple of little goes just to get used to it, but just find a shape. You know, the simplest shapes can be something quite as random as that, that can work quite well. And then once you get used to working with the piping bag, you can start practicing different shapes. So three kind of triangles is probably the, the best way to start. And you can make these any size you wish. You can do little tiny ones for the top of smaller desserts. There's loads of different designs that you can do. Even something as simple as zigzag, zigzag. I'll just put a little heat into the white. Sometimes it's quite nice to have a contrast as well of different colours so you can go back over, you know, little zigzags. It's just finding the, the pattern that works for you. Once it starts, it, it starts to melt really quick. But again, we're really being cautious with the temperature. You know, you can feel the bowl. If the bowl gets hot, it's too hot. Just remove that from the heat. And just like before, when we lift the bowl away, we're making sure that we get all that chocolate off the uh, water off the bottom of the bowl. And then from there, with something like this, I think it's quite fun, and you know, it's something you can easily practice at home. Back to our kind of zigzags. If you can cut through a little bit of white, sometimes helps. And it gives a different dimension. And again, just the same. And you could be doubling up over, you know, the dark as well. And for something that is really quite simple, can look pretty good. And again, it's just making sure you've got the, the time to do it as well. It's just a bit, a bit of fun with chocolate. So the main skills you're trying to pick up here, piping bag and the melting of the chocolate, keeping temperatures as low as possible, avoiding water, and piping bags is just practice, so.